So the new trailer for Fantastic Beasts got me thinking, what if we are missing the most obvious clue that the movie is giving us? And that clue is in the title itself. Let me explain what I mean by this. This new trailer begins by this quote from Dumbledore. Memory is everything. Without it, we are blind. Without it, we leave the fate of our world to chance. And I know this is a quote taken from the sixth book. I don't know if it's in the movie, but moving on. It got me thinking, what if memory actually plays a big role in this movie? We see throughout this trailer a potential mirror world and we also see Jacob Kowalski getting a wand. We also saw that in the previous trailer, but the point is Jacob Kowalski, who is a muggle, gets a wand and he's sort of able to do magic with it. And he's also able to enter Hogwarts, which shouldn't be able to because he's a muggle. So all of this got me thinking, maybe all of these crazier things which are shown in this trailer, Dumbledore and Grindelwald discovered them together. And now that this war is happening, Dumbledore is beginning to realize what dangers these secrets pose. And as a result, he chooses that no one, absolutely no one should remember these things ever happened. And therefore, by the end of this movie or by the end of this entire series, Dumbledore offers himself to be obliviated. Now, not only does this solve the problem of the mirror world and uh, muggles getting a wand not being mentioned in the original seven books, it also solves the problem of Aurelius Dumbledore. Yes, this guy, Credence. So basically, ever since it was revealed that Credence is actually Aurelius Dumbledore, there have been a lot of theories going around the internet trying to explain why Dumbledore didn't mention he had an extra brother to Harry when they met in the uh, sort of afterlife of King's Cross. Now, obviously, some people thought he was just not telling it, but that kind of cheapens the scene because it was essentially Dumbledore cl coming clean to Harry. And I personally want to believe that this is Dumbledore coming completely clean. No secrets are kept between them now. But now with this, it becomes a lot more clearer. Essentially, Dumbledore didn't tell Harry about uh, Credence ever existing because he forgot about it. And so this scene is preserved. Also, hey, editing me here, I did notice that in the trailer, Dumbledore is essentially saying the opposite of what I'm saying and saying that we should not try to lose our memories. But I think that adds even more validity to my theory because essentially the, in the stakes of this movie, force someone even like Dumbledore to lose this part of himself simply because he thinks that if he doesn't do it, it's going to be too dangerous. And on top of that, this also plays into one more character trait of Dumbledore, which is that Dumbledore never trusts himself with power. And, you know, in a sense, knowledge is power in this case. Let me know what you think about it. This was one of my shorter videos. I just wanted to give this out there and uh, I know I am late because I had exams and I know there is not much I can say that hasn't been said a thousand times by other people already and people who are better than me essentially so um, yeah.